16 years, and um, over the 16 years I've grown to like him, <laughs> which wasn't all that easy. <laughs> but one of the things that I can say about this young guy is that he always had three passions, and he was always faithful, and he was always committed and dedicated to three things, so to speak. Number one was Jesus, number two was joy, and I was looking for the third that would start with joy, but I can't find any, so I've got to say, Beautiful feet, of course. <laughs> and he was absolutely committed to his vision. He's been through a lot of stuff, and yet always faithful to take the whole, to equip the whole man, to take the whole gospel to the whole world. And today we just want to thank God for him and joy and the ministry, and we want to just ask God's favor upon the future. Because there's a great vision that is ahead of him, and I believe that that vision will be fulfilled in God's time, in God's mercy, and in God's grace. So I guess we can have Pastor Olson to pray for Howard and Joy. Thank you, Father. Let's pray. We're going to pray for Howard and Joy. Thank you, Father. Thank you that we can come together tonight, Lord, with love in our hearts, Father. And I can see the love here tonight, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you've given this commitment to joy and to power. Thank you that they've done a good job and still are doing the job. They're committed. They're not into the short stay, but the long stay. Thank you, God. Just bless their family. Protect them, guide them. Just be there, God, every step of the way. We're waiting to see what you do next in your lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Father, we just thank you, Pastor Howard and Pastor Joy, their family. And Lord, you Lord reminded me again tonight of a of a, a vision I had one time previously. The Lord's given you an anointing to be able to bro break open like an icebreaker, an ice breaking ship to be able to break open areas that have previously been unreached and unable to go into. The Lord's gifted you with, with anointings and empowerings to be able to reach people, to be able to organise people, to be able to bring people together for the kingdom of the Lord's sake and for the glory of Jesus. So Father, we just lay hands on Pastor Howard and Pastor Joy in simple faith. We release your blessing upon them that makes rich and adds no sorrow there too. Lord, would you continue to increase and prosper that which you've set before them? And thank you, Lord, that you would keep them strong, you'd keep them healthy, with all the resources that they need, Lord, available to them at the right time. So we thank you for them. In the mighty name of Jesus and all the people said, Amen, Amen, amen and Amen. <laughs> 